they say it takes a village to raise a child. It may also take a school. Yes, many public schools, of course, provide food, clothing, and supplies to children in need. But one Newport school steps up and fills an even deeper need for some students. They're giving them a place to live. Local 12's Joe Webb joins us live from Newport Primary with the story. Hi, Joe. Hey, Cammie. You know, Newport Primary School provides a full range of service for the 560 or so children who go to school here every day. But recently, a staff member took an extra step, carrying their mission even further. They took in four students who lost their caregiver and didn't have a decent place to live. The boys and girls in Mr. Campbell's kindergarten class were focused on writing this morning, while across the building, Family Resource Center coordinator Molly Wesley was focused on the children's more basic needs. She handed out 400 pairs of gloves last month. She goes through about 100 pairs of pants every month. Today, since it's a Friday, she loaded up what are called power packs, bagged meals to help the neediest students get through the weekend. So right now I give out at least 80 power packs a week. Um, I could probably give out 80 more. Newport Primary provides about 900 free meals every school day. They are obviously committed to nurturing their students as well as educating them. But this week, a staff member took an extra step when four boys faced a life-changing event. They had a sad situation where their, the person raising them, their great-grandmother, passed away. Um, so they needed someone to, uh, to take these boys in to uh, give them structure, to help them through the situation until they could find a home for them. And yes, one of our staff members here at Newport Primary, they stepped up and they did that. That staff member has chosen to remain anonymous. It was important for us that they stay together and they are important supports to one another, and this was one way that, to make that happen. Now, Molly Wesley says that this is obviously a big deal, but she says it is not unique. She says at least four staff members here at Newport Primary School have taken children in from the school when they needed a place to stay. The four brothers will stay with that staff member until they can find a foster home that can take all four of them. And as you heard, Cammie, the folks here at the school say it's really important that the four, it's important to the school and to the boys that the four of them stay together. Quite a story, isn't it? I am just blown away by the generosity of this staff member. It's just incredible, Joe. Yeah, it, it, it is amazing. But you know what? The more you hang around educators, the more you find that they do a lot of these. I mean, they, they do a lot more than teach. They do teach. And they these kids here are, are getting, a, you know, a, a, an education, first of all. But they deal with a whole lot of other issues, too. They really do. Teachers make such a huge difference. Joe Webb, thank you so much. The Family Resource Coordinator for Newport Primary says they are in need of donations right now, particularly pants that will fit boys and girls who are like four to six years old in that age range. If you'd like to help, we do have a link on local12.com. Just click on the red Get It button, and that'll take you there. It's a great story.